Hey guys, here for back, back to Ruby JPD. Even last left off, we end up learning that Howard's team has finally showed up and it's going to make things a lot more complicated for us from now on. That said, let's begin. Good morning, partner. Ready for another day? You know it. I'm especially ready for breakfast. Wednesday. Believe it or not, guys, I'm going to try and speak, read a little slowly this time because I think that's the reason why I'm cocking up so much because I read so quickly. So I'm going to read a bit slower. So I don't, you know, cock up all the writing so much. So, yeah. Day 45. 45. All right. To class. And let's see what's going on today. Any events? Come back train. Increased by five. That's enough. Mr. Daikabossi's aura is in the red. Ugh. That was a pathetic showing. I'm, I mean, red is phenomenal in hand-to-hand -hand combat. But I made some amateur mistakes because I was distracted. Something weighing on your mind? Ugh, Ren. If only Monty Ohm was still here. He would have made Ruby so much better than it is. Hopefully, Weistum actually, you know, diverts from canon Ruby. And, you know, the things that made the series bad, they stay away from. You know, like, no fall of Beacon. Because I think that's really one of the things that made Ruby die was a fall of Beacon. And the death of Pira. So let's hope they diverge away from that. And do something good with it. So here's hoping eh. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. It shows huh. It does. But I recognize your mistakes and the reason for it. On your own. Amateurs do not know why th they are. So that's a sign of progress. <laughs> Thanks Ren. Ugh. I like Ren. At least he he's very philosophical when he wants to be. If only he knew the half the reason because of your feet. I know, right? Aura seems to be... What? What? Oh, oh arbitra arbitrary. Yeah, arbitrary. It's like it's a certain type of damage and pain is just to teach your lessons. Jack isn't back yet, huh? No. She saw she to go ahead and wait for her in the ca cafeteria while she finishes talking with the headmaster. Alright, alright. You two go ahead, then. I'll go wash up and and change and then reach you. Ah, uh, nothing, be nothing better than a shower after a good workout. Ah, uh, I needed that. My feet al almost don't hurt anymore. Two. I guess my aura de decided that I learned the lesson. Man, I'm famished. Getting your ass kicked worked an appetite. Try not to lose too many times. Then, I hear Beowulf have a taste for love handles. Huh? What was that? Oh! Neon! Huh. Their uniform. She's a transfer student from one of our festival, isn't she? Her hair color reminds me a bit of Penny, but the feeling she gives off is completely, completely different. Also, Penny would never make that kind of joke. Considering that the, the grind that Professor, Professor Goodwitch puts us through, I wouldn't be able to get fat even if I wanted to. I know, right? I thought you might be back in Atlas for strict. Oh, you're from Atlas. One of my teammates is from Atlas as well. Oh, I know. She's actually why I approached you, honestly. Huh? She approached me for Penny? My name is Neon Cat. Which is actually kind of funny, the fact that they actually call her Neon Cat. Which is kind of weird because she is a cat bonus. Which I didn't know at the time because I thought she was a... You know, a, a monkey faunus, because, you know, the tail. But now that I know she's actually a cat faunus, it makes the, the name a bit on the nose. Can she like a bossy? So you know Penny? Not personally, but I'm super secret mission to get you so, some information for her. A secret mission? And why, why can't you tell me her? Why can't you tell her directly? Uh, because that would risk the general... That general I may get to know about it too. Ah. I see. I guess just like Headmaster Ospin, General Ironwood isn't someone we can trust with any everything. Who's the information from? And why did they give it to you? It's from Penny's father. You should have seen my face when my scroll went off at an unknown number. I was like, who are you and how'd you get my number? Are you a stalker? And um, he can contact me because General Ironwood doesn't, doesn't take me seriously. Huh? I see. Because he doesn't take her seriously, he doesn't keep an eye on her. That way, he would... That way, he would someone he'd expect something out of, although... 
Why doesn't he take you seriously? I mean, each school's hand picked only a handful of teams, so they that so means your team is exceptional now. Yes, but the general the general thinks that my team gets to where it is despite me, not with me. Oh, but I'll show him. I'll show everyone. Seems like a touchy subject for her, even if it does interest me. What could po cause people to overlook her so? I'll give you a hint. It's swishing behind her right now. Swish, swish, swish. Like a tail. Anyway. Anyways. Ready to memorize. The two, th these two sentences. Two sentences. I don't really understand the sentence itself, but it sounds, it sounds an importance. Shoot. Alright, the first sentence is, all you need to keep from Penny as well is, the limit is three minutes. The, the limit is three minutes. The limit of what? I don't understand, but I guess that's the point, huh? And the second sentence is, the sandwiches are no longer safe. This makes even less sense, but I guess Penny, but I guess it will to, for Penny. Although, you said I should keep the first First one for from here entirely. That's what he said. What's the point of telling me then? Well, I think it, this is something that Penny, for some reason or another, wouldn't be able to keep a secret. So, something. So maybe it's something you need to tell her when she needs to know. And how am I supposed to know when that will be? Beats me. I don't even know what he's talking about. Ugh. Now I'm curious. It sounds so important. I know, right? Well, no use dwelling on it anyway. Yeah, I'm still hungry anyway. You coming too? Oh, you don't know the half fit. Love handles, here we come. Ah, uh, Neon, we barely knew you. Seriously, we barely know any of the characters in this series. And that's the end of it, sir. Our attacker let it slip that his, his leader is a Beacon graduate. So that at least gives us something to go on. Van Goth. Headmaster? Sir? This is getting more serious than we thought it could be. Indeed it is. Indeed it has. I wouldn't go as far as saying that every hunter who has trained in Beacon has gone on to grow into a morale, morally outstanding person, but this is unprecedented. Sir, I doubt this has been, been a recent change. Maybe we will be able to find out some hints in his file in the student archives. I figured if you keep some sort of archive, sir, it was an easy guess. That's not my surprise, Miss Ivory. I'm sorry to say that those archives are off limits to you and your team. Headmaster, I understand that the need for privacy and secrecy, but it's just one file. We won't go rummaging through the archives. I appreciate your consideration, Miss Ivory, but... And what I mean is, you and your team are to stop researching Wiser Van Gogh and his associates with Mr. Dagobasi altogether. Sir, with all due respect, I need a good explanation. Yeah, considering the fact that my life is on the line here. And I'm pretty sure something else if with that girl who's calling me her big brother. So, yeah, I think I feel like I really need to know this kind of stuff, Professor. So, can you at least give me that kind of information? When I f first accepted Mr. Agabotti and Miss Polad Paladina into Beacon, I did s so for three reasons. One reason was to give you and Miss Demerot teammates to better integrate you into the student population. The second was because I had suspicions of Mr. Agabotti's origins. The third is not for your ears. But with each new detail revealed of about his nature, I understand that none of my uh, theories apply. Mr. Agabotti's nature is completely uncharted territory for me. His enemy is complete unknowns. And that has never happened before. Not with things tied to the past of Remnant. You're afraid to Salem, aren't you? You you really thought I was part of Salem's group. Do I look evil to you? Granted, no one thought that some characters looked evil. Like, I'm pretty sure no one would have thought that um, Hazel was evil. But then again, he's focused on revenge. And Cinder is, well, she's a power-hungry bitch. That's putting it mildly. Sir, that's precisely why we need to research, research more intel. That's that's what you have the orphans for. Indeed. But Miss, Miss Paladina and Mr. Digabossi are not orphans. We can't risk their lives. 
I am an orphan. Hello. I don't have parents in this game. What do you think? What do you think I am? Hmm? Sir, you can't. You can try that on someone not involved. Their lives are already at risk. We've been attacked. Evelyn almost died. Because you are training without supervision outside school grounds. As long as you avoid staying outside our protection, no further harm will come to you. Or we'll be caught completely unguarded, pants around our ankles. I it will not be left alone, Miss Ivory. The topic will simply receive attention at a later date. After we clear up another... In, cur in current situation. Oh really? That sounds fantastic. Except for the part where Howard was able to move in out out of Beacon as he wanted. I do not trust the facility to build. I do not trust the facility ability to protect us while we sit on our asses, Headmaster. But I, but I. Wait, what word is that? Acquire the fine. Keep your archives. But I will go and inform my teammates of your decision. Dismissed. Ugh, this is getting to be painful. Indeed, and that is why I need to... Need, I don't need you bringing further attention to enemies my way, Miss Ivory. Osborne, what are you planning? I know what you did in the future when I played this game on my old channel. Which is one reason why I don't like you as much as I used to. Alright. For this, let's, uh... Hmm... Well, let's go. Let's go and train with Yang. Yep. Hey, Dean. Hey, Dean, man. It's a practice. Or you just missed me. All right. Obviously, we've already done all this. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Can I do anything in Vale? Main Street. Nope. I do want to go. I do want to get some of these clothes, but I don't have the money. Hmm. I would. Wait, dog lover's dark suit? Don't have enough. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, uh... Back up. Okay, let's try the alleyway. Nothing much to do right now. Okay, let's go back to Beacon. And let's go to the gym and work out. Okay, let's see. What, what to work on? Battle. You know what? Let's work on my... Hmm... Let's work on my strength again. Yo, nothing sells, nothing victory like being stronger and doing more damage. Your attack increased by one. I feel, I feel like my body can sustain, can sustain even stronger cover of aura now. Your aura increased by one. Thanks, son. My pleasure. More strong people means more fun. It's getting late. I should get back to the room. Yes, you should. Alright. Oh, cool. Welcome back, Kenji. Hey, Penny. Speaking of which, I should probably tell her about what Neon said. Jack and Evelyn are finishing with their dishes in the kitchen. I see. Speaking of cooking, Penny, I have a message from your father. My... My father? Perhaps he contact you. That's not important. He wanted me to tell you this. The sandwiches are no longer safe. Oh, I... I see. Is something wrong? What does it mean? It's about... A loss of privacy. It's nothing too bad, but... A, a loss of... Maybe Penny and her father have been talking to each other without a general knowing about it? The general contacted you... The general controls your communications. Not exactly. It's just that he... He has only the means to contact my father, but in front of the general, I can't talk to him as I'd like to. I see. I'm sorry, Penny. For what? You had no hands in this. But I can see what that makes you sad. I don't like seeing you sad. Oh, look at that blush. She's adorable. Well, maybe you could. Sorry, Penny, but you wanted to ask him to do. We'll have to wait for, an for after I'm asleep. It was nothing overly sexual. Sh you sure? I thought you were finally ready. No, I... I just wanted maybe a hug. Aw, oh, bring in your adorable little redhead. Maybe, she says. What a monster would deny her a hug. In that case, feel free to do it while I'm awake as well. 
But returning to the matter at hand, the headmaster denied me access to the student's archives. T typical. He denied us? He... But why? He wants us to handle the investigation on his own. Since a Beacon alumnus is involved, also it seems like we've reached a point where he can't predict what's going to happen next. We're completely uncharted territory. I can see that, but we're directly involved in this. Our lives have already been placed in danger. And we can't even know anything about this guy? We can't stay on the defensive. Looks like it's that's exactly what he wants us to do. I don't tell him about our source, though. Good. I mean, that's the risk he, he will cut us off from that as well. However, I'm still... But, but still. God damn it! We're the ones being targeted by these guys. We're being in danger because of something we can't... You don't even know anything about. Shouldn't we at least know all we know? We can about our attackers to better defend ourselves? I can't say I approve of the course of action. He's probably tr thinking of what it'd look like if we got out of the former Beacon student behind attacks of current Beacon students. And he had the affiliation with the criminal underworld while he was still in school. Affiliation that I bet went completely unnoticed. So he, he preferred to sweep as much of it as he can under the rug to save face. More than that, the headmaster seems to be already having his attention on something else. So he will not do anything that may bring more on his table. Yeah, I think this is the time when Amber got attacked by Cinder. So yeah, wait, what do we think? That is the reason. Or else, why would we be seeing her ghost? Ugh. Where does that leave us? Only thing we can do is look up the old address in Vale. His old address? Of course. Care to elaborate? As hands off as Osman can be, I doubt he could fail to notice one of his students coming and going to Vale regularly, oftentimes, say, staying out till the crack of dawn, if not him. That's a good witch, surely would. Oh, right. I don't. I didn't think of that. So it's safe to assume that he won't be living in the dormitories at this time. Yeah. So I think that on Sunday we should, we could, we could look up. We could look it up in Vale if he if he's renting an apartment. He must have left a trace. But even if we find his old apartment, we would. He, what would we even do with it? Some some neighbors may have remembered him. Maybe something maybe something left that we, that wasn't remo removed by the new tenants. It's a long shot, but it's the only way we have. Barring having a forceful look at the school's archive, which I doubt we would even be able to accomplish. Damn it, Ospen! We're too involved to be left out of the loop like this. Yeah, like, why are they leaving us out of the loop? It's not good. Not good at all. Okay, sleepyhead. Yes, yes, I know. I'm an early riser. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's go to class. Today is is the new... Today is, is that new day. Is that new... Well, old teacher comes back, but it's certainly a new teacher for me. This Professor Peaches is, a, is the acting teacher for Dust class... But she was a mandatory maternity leave, and she's back. But I understand why Ruby and some of the students know over the days seems to dread this prospect. The general feeling of the students seems to be split about this professor. I know, right? Maybe she's strict. Strict in Professor Goodwitch? Strict enough to keep Ruby in check? That would explain why Ruby is so glum, or like, Weiss is excited. Although, considering this is dust, Weiss's favourite subject, it could also be because she's good at her job. Well, the mystery's about to be solved. She is here, and... Huh? That's pretty... Eccentric look clothing. I mean, most hun hunt hunters dress... Erratically, but our boss teachers always seem to be the exception to the rule. Good morning, all of you children. Let me begin by saying... Wow, she, that really is eccentric. That was like, not what I was expecting. Why is she blonde? I thought she was ginger. It's good to be back. Welcome back, Professor, Professor Peach. Wow, Weiss. Never pegged you for a teacher's fangirl. 
Thank you, Miss Schnee. And Miss Rose, I see you're looking as glum as ever at the prospect of my lessons. S sorry, Professor, I just ate something bad at breakfast. Miss Rose, you can't lie to save your life. Never change, unless you have to. Was that an insult or a compliment or a suggestion? Or maybe all, th all three together? Also, Miss Goodwitch told me that, that four new students joined while I was on leave. May I ask for Team Jade to stand up? That's us. Penny and I stand up a couple of rows behind us. Jack and Evelyn follow suit. She observes us for a few seconds without asking us to introduce ourselves. Here's silly a couple algori algorithm. Or oh, algoro. Okay, I'm just say algor algoro algorithm. Like a like a crystal of raw dust. Have you managed to catch up with the rest of the class? Yes, Miss Peach. The other students have been very helpful in this regard. White in particular was very kind for me to me. I see what White's eyes wide with a a, te a teal of um, with the trail of my eye immediately sees she, after she beams. Yeah, no doubt she cares a lot about what this particular teacher thinks of her. Very good, which means we can go further now and ex explore the mysteries of dust together. Yep, sounds about right. Wow. This is definitely a very strong sim to what she normally wore in the past game. Because, believe it or not, in the past she actually had ginger hair tied in a bun. And she dressed, you know, like, I guess a... If any has ever seen Dexter's Lab, she kind of dressed like that. But this is way more eccentric. Huh. The Mysteries of Dust? I say it out loud after we take our seats again. Indeed, Mr. Dykabossi. I guess that my substitute has gotten you used to normal curriculum, didn't he? Textbook stories of the nature of just and its various uses on the battlefield. Melisons are a bit different. And this will also be the reason why Miss Rose can't be 100% happy about my return, despite being a sweetheart. Th that's not true! I must admit, insist, Miss Rose, if you got were sugar, a sugar contact in alcohol beverage, you'd make what a health hazard. Penny, what the hell does, does that mean? The, the potency of alcohol beverage is... Depends on the, the sugar content. So making it a health ads would, would summarize that Ruby is equivalent of a great amount of sugar. Yeah, that girl is way too sweet for her own good. I swear, sometimes whenever she smiles or something adorable, I feel like I'm going to get diabetes just by looking at her. Oh. But I don't think Ruby, Ruby's going to be able to fulfill, fully get it. Uh, why? What did I, what did I just say to that? You smile and take the compliment, dunce. Now, Miss Schnee, she's not a dunce. My metaphors aren't for everyone. I, I so need to write this down. Anyway, today we, we forgo practice. Let's see what you got with this curriculum. With the curriculum. Yeah, curriculum. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Your dust not increased by five. Good, good. So, thoughts? She's, com she's complete. She's complacent and, aff and, aff and affable. Witty, but not in a nasty way. This is the first time I've ever heard out practice in dust classes for hunters. Dust usage is covered in combat class. And I love how she managed to compliment and insult people with the same sentence. That takes skill. Um, I like her clothes? Well, you all said everything else. What else was it to say? Not the point, partner. Uh, she's right behind me, isn't she? Called it. Glad to know my, my, you found my sense of fashion artistically, pl holistically pleasing, Mr. Dagobossi. Um, hello, Professor. Sorry to put you up on the spot like that. All the timing on my part. On the contrary, I call it perfect. Shut up, Evelyn. Anyway, I want to know if you'd like to have lunch with me, Team Jade. Um, don't teachers have their own lodge? Indeed, but just like you, I had to catch up on the curriculum. I have responsibilities to catch up on knowing my students. Also, I can't deny being curious about you lot. Glenda only brief hinted of your situation, but sounds intriguing. Uh, I see. Gosh, this is kind of embarrassing. Having lunch in the mess hall with a professor? We'll be happy to... We're happy to have you, professor. Excellent. I'll... I'll reach you in a couple of minutes. Get a blackboard tip ready. 
This could certainly be our advantage. I concur. She seems more easy, easy to mingle with students. Hopefully she's not in the grey-haired asshole's inner circle. She's not. Be honest, no one even knows what she looks like in canon, because she's she's like that character you never see or hear about. Who to call? Huh? Meanwhile, Team Ruby's room. What's this? This will be interesting. Do you think they know? This will this must be like a once every three thousand years event. That rare? Yep. You wouldn't know y Yang that much, believe me. I've never seen her all. See, I've never seen her all of a sudden just decide to take a break. Yes. And hey, why is not going out with us? It's not unusual, but she usually does it to study or something. Instead, she's just going to um chill. <laughs> You said it, not me. Anyway, what happened? And 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 it happened to both of them. And they ha both happened at the same time. One to three thousand year event at years, I tell you. Hmm. I guess it's pretty rare coincidence. So, what do you mean, so? I mean, what's your point? It's not really a point. I was just making conversation. Oh, okay. I think that's it with me, actually. I'll be honest. And that's where you're supposed to keep the conversation going. Ah, <sighs> let's... Let's go to town. We can talk while we walk. Or not. Says who? No one. That's my point. Well, this game's interesting. Finally, I thought they'd never leave. Why finally? Because it means that I can finally relax. Mind if I open the window? Oh no, go ahead. It's a bit stuffy, actually. I blame you. Aha. Like I haven't heard that one before. Ugh. Ah. Mountain air. Huh? Is, is it? Is it what? Mountain air. Huh? Why is she upside down? Oh, is she, is she basically leaning over from her bed? Um, why wouldn't it be? We're pretty high up, stand, surrounded by mount, by the forest. But there's a cliff overlooking the, the ocean on a kilometer away, so wouldn't it be also by sea, be sea air? Hardly. Not salty at all. Hmm, this is a unique scene. I've never seen this before. Hmm... What the? So, can't relax when Blake's around. You wish. We both know that your sister doesn't have an off button, Jow Long. Even when she's quiet, it's like being around a, t a taunt, a truet wire, just a moment away from snapping. Uh, I guess, but I, also, but I also guess that I got used to her being like that, you know? That's, 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 and you will always seem busy, don't you? Not today, just lazing around and reading comics. Maybe tea. Oh, you like tea? Not the strong blend. I go herbal ones. Mistral, then. I approve. Hmm, this is a pretty interesting, pretty interesting going on. Oh, what the hell? Want to have a cup? Later. Huh, I actually thought about it, but it seems we're already out of the stuff. That's fine. I can use my secret stash. You have a secret stash of tea? And not just tea. Not because I fear that someone may steal my stuff, though, let's be clear. And then it's to, to protect from the from the Cyclone Ruby. Oh, you're familiar. You think dust is the first thing she ever china shopped? I learned to stuff keep my stuff on high shelves. You know, it's nice to have someone who understands what you're going through. Oh, you had you have my sympathies one day. Just not. She's not. She's just not all bad, is she? She's getting better, I guess. Also, I'm not the easiest person to get along with. Nature or nurture or nature. Ah, <sighs> a little bit of a little bit of A, a little bit of B. The environment of Alice doesn't exactly lend itself to. 
relaxed social interactions, but, I have, but I'll have to admit that there are parts of me that conflict with Ruby's character, along with everyone else. Oh, come on, you're not that bad. My rather short list of friends and my existence, my inexistent list of partners would say the opposite. So you're telling, so you mean to tell me you would have liked to break a, to break bread or knock boots with those stuck up so, so, socialites you grew up with? When you put it like that, most, most certainly not. There you go. I can make a cake out of, out of mud, despite what Ruby may, may tell you. Still, at times I wish I was able to be more easygoing, less guarded, more approachable. A little bit of you, actually. Yeah, maybe don't. Don't be... You can't be serious. Oh, I know, I get, I get the looks and the charm and the puns, Weiss Cream. But I'm also pathologically unable to just stop doing stuff for other people. Doesn't exactly leave me with a lot of time to have friends or, or go on dates. Aren't you taking a break right now? Yeah, because someone threatened to otherwise metaphorically salt the earth around me to force me to. Yeah, that's me. Well, that sounds like they have your best interests in heart. I don't think it's Blake, though. Hmm, not Estelle. This is someone else. And what would they... And what are they like? Uh, they just can't leave well enough alone. I'm a big girl and I'm... Gr and a, gr and a grown one. I can't... I can take care of myself. Mm-hmm. And what was that about the pathological inability to stop doing stuff? I can't quit. I can quit any time I want to. I want to. I just don't want to. You're, you're talking like a drug addict there, Yang. And it concerns me. It concerns me a lot. <laughs> Sounds to me like you should keep this person around. Ugh. Can't find solos with my teammates. We're all let down. Hmm, I see. Shall we have the tea from my stash? A little something extra as an apology then. It's a bit early for me, but why not? Atlas timing. We don't really need to wait for the evening for, for air to cool down. Alright, so that's probably interactions for the third event for between them. Okay, now I see why you keep a secret stash. It's not just the tea, it's the cookies. While she, she wouldn't take them without permission, I doubt that Rue would pester me until the end of time. Or give the poppy dog eyes to make you crumble. Don't peg down a cookie as the kind of get girl away. Anyway. Hmm, it's less cookies and more the memories. Growing up, I had this tr tradition with my sister and my mother. We'd get a servant to buy the cheapest cookies they could find. Why the cheapest? Because father doesn't like them. I see. Anyway, cheap cheap cookies, tea, and then mum would tell me winter stories about grandpa. Nicholas Schnee, right? Do you think I studied about him? As you should, he revolutionized sounding and mining techniques for dust and shared his knowledge. He, how, how with the world? He's one of the most influential pawn figures of history. But he wasn't perfect. Bad taste, bad taste in son-in-laws. My father made my mother happy once upon a time. Grandpa didn't live to see what our family would become. His shortcomings were in the business side of things. Or better, his total lack of interest in it. He was a miner first and foremost. It was gr it was grandma who kept the books. And when she passed away, the role fell, fell, fell by dad. And then what? The downward spiral started to... To the use of altruism and with the came fame and a slash of infamy, I'd never met anyone in my life who, who didn't have some kind of ex exceptions for me before sla singling the, the single sentence. Until I met you girls. Glad to have broken that mold with Miss Schnee. Anyway, let's change the subject drastically. I told you about my, fa my father, Hen. Tell about your nightly activity. My what now? You, you've gone quite a few times lately. Always at night and always getting messages on your scroll. Oh, it's it's not like that. You think he? So it's a he. 
shut up. He helped me with something regarding my family and some harassment I was getting. Wait, what? You're being harassed? Um, a little... Hmm, a little, but it's solved now. Oh, good, but why didn't you tell us? Because I thought I could handle it on my own. If you thought of that, why didn't you tell the mystery man for him, for he... Oh, I see. Who? I'm not sure I follow. Work and pleasure, as they say. Fixing the harassment problem, playing the damsel for once, and getting some... Wait, what? Back up, back up. And getting some private stake out time with mystery man. Th that's not... That's not what happened. That's improper and dangerous. What's dangerous about breaking curfew to suck face some? Unless you got caught by a professor, that is. Oh my god, you got caught by Professor. Also, that means he's a student. Um, formerly Professor Goodwitch was kind. But we weren't caught sucking face. We were doing a stakeout. Perfectly platonic stakeout. I believe you. You want to, to go on another non-platonic stakeout, though? Did, did, did you want to relax with some non-platonic activities with your caretaker? Hey, hey, I asked first. Fine, then yes. Yes, I would, there. Wow. Wow. I just said that out loud. Damn. So, are you gonna tell me who- So, are you gonna tell me who it is? Well, you should tell him that. Maybe I will. And you should tell about your caretaker you appreciate the concern that should take you out of some- that they should take you out or something if they want to want want to stop want you to stop. Yeah, fat chance of that happening. Why? I wouldn't even know how to integrate that intent. Goodness, you really are as experienced as me. Difference being, I don't have an excuse of a hostile envi hostile environment. This is self inflicted. Well, let's see. What do you usually do when you need something to do seriously different? What? Don't don't you have a ritual or something similar? A little, th a little thing you do performing a task to give yourself a courage to pump yourself up. Yeah, there's a thing. So what was it then? Tell me. Tell them. I activity. I think I will. Actually, I think I will. Thanks, Weiss. You're welcome. Oh, Yang looks pretty cute when she blushes. Okay, so we have. So we had the moment you're surprisingly much more approachable about girly stuff than I thought. Well, the statement I, I don't know how to take. Could I propose? I could put a proposal on the and ask if you want to brush brushy buddies. Brushy, you mean our hair? Yes, please. Oh, wait, back up, back up. Yes, please. We'll cut time in half. Well, I'd I wouldn't say no, especially since I've. Heard from Ruby, I'm flattered. Well, but I think Blake helped you with that, actually. Yeah, you'd think that, but actually, she's terrible at brushing hair. Wait, what? But it's so, so well kept, and... It is, and she does the bare minimum. It stays like that almost the entire, entirely on, on its own. I don't know if it's a Faunus thing or a Belladonna thing. I know that it's so unfair. I know, right? Well, that was interesting. Is it done? Oh. One more final bit. We'll finish this little clip and then we'll finish for the for the day. I mean, for the, for the episode. <laughs> hey, partner. Welcome back. Hey, Jack. You've been out for quite a while. Where were you? Mm, just training, really. Nothing really exciting for me today. Well, there's a start tonight, isn't there? Sorry? You've just got... You've gone out late at night a few times. Late for, for other reasons. I think I heard you mentioned Weiss and Yang. Oh, that? Yeah, I was just helping them with stuff. Nothing serious? Uh, well, it could have been, actually. But we crossed the bridge... They're going to be fine. Hmm, I see. Do you like them? Either of Do you like either of them? Who, what? Uh, 
I think you haven't thought of a poss possibility. Just say, just saying, the situation with Evelyn and Penny. It may pop up again, though, with different heads. Yeah, that's a possibility. Oh, nonsense. No, it's a possibility, particularly since it's it is going to happen. Ah, uh, hmm. Will, will you stop doing that, stupid? <laughs> Sorry, it's just. Oh, that's a cute picture. I like it. Having someone else brush your hair feels so nice. Well, I can't argue with that. Still. The, the sounds you're making... The sounds you should let your caretaker hear, you know? What? I want to go on a date, not blow his mind. Okay, yet. I don't want to blow his mind yet. Oh, so it's a gentleman. He's nosy. It's what he is. I'll show him. A good time, I hope. Oh, the best time of his life. I'll be back and give him you tips on what you do with your mystery man. You pro you need you'll need all the help you can. Ow! Oh, I'm sorry, my hand must have slipped. Ow. You're lucky I like you, ice cream. Also, I was pretty int intricate knot. Couldn't be helped. If you say so, do you remember we still need to do it yourself afterwards. White and Yang got closer. Will it be enough? Hopefully. Hopefully. Well, guys, that's the end of this video. Like we saw, like, comment, and subscribe. Jeff, and I'm out of here. See ya.